Hey everybody, New Leaf here, and today we are here to get up and ready with the newest stuff from Generation 5. Things are coming up in, I think, about, about next one month or something, so let's see what's going to happen. And I think the first big one I need to talk about is Chapter 4. We got a bit of a trailer, and let's see what we have, and we already got Izzy, and I, already, I, I like Izzy. Izzy is just such a spirit mate. I can't ever say that enough. She, she's everything that embodies me to some degree. I also like the animation. Let me look at that hat turn again. That was, was, was nicely done. Ooh. Look at that. Looky! That's a, that is that is nice. I mean, that is one thing that some people said is that the, um, I think the second chapter didn't have as good animation. We we need we need those kind of things. Oh, whoa! Is that Paris sprites breezies? We have not seen either of these in the new generation, but maybe they're gonna introduce some new creatures like we've seen it with. Um, the bunnies and and all that. I th I always like the the ecosystem, if you can even call it that, or the very magical ecosystem. Whoa! I just realized we're in Bridalwood. So are we finally finally gonna learn more about Bridalwood? Because out of all places, this is the one that's been neglected the most. We've gotten a lot of it in the first movie. Then um, in chapter two, I think we we saw like ten seconds of it. In, in chapter three, we basically got to see for like two minutes and tell your tale. I think it got like one episode, and that's it. So we need this. This is gonna be a theme. Oh. That literally looks like a freaking Paris sprite. Look at that. Wow. Is it gonna eat something? I've never seen anything like this in Louder. My life. This is amazing, Izzy! Whoa! Do they sound different or is that just me? This in my life! This is amazing, Izzy! Uh, yeah, I think they do. I, I wonder if, if they change the voice actors or that is just me hearing things, ponies. What is it? It's called the Luma Bloom. Look at Izzy! She is so awesome! Look at her! She will get up in your face and nuzzle you, everybody, when she thinks something is that hyper. That is how expressive she is. And look, I, I, I said this a bunch, but look at how fuzzy those coats and manes are! I mean, look at this and, and this! There's just some three-dimensionality that you would never have seen in the previous generation. And I know some people hate this generation. Y'all missing out. That's what I say to that. Y'all missing Every out. Season for one week only. All oh. the plants and stuff in this part of Bridalwood go out wild and Ooh. glowy. So it's not just some sort of. Let me let me see that again. I I I'm on the same thing here. Sip is the other spirit animal. I still want to know if this is Paris Brights. Look at this. Uh. So it's not just some sort of unicorn. Yeah, that definitely it's looked a like a phenomenon. Do you like it? Like it? Do I like it? Oh, hey, Pip. I love it! It makes me want to. <laughs> that is. That is a memeable face expression, every pony. Right there, that is memeable. I'm not. I don't care. There's. There's got to be some meme to be made about this spot. Sing. There's always a time. Oh, you're driving me wrong with your pair of. Uh, you drive me crazy with those Paris sprites look alike. Yes, that definitely looks like a Paris sprite, people, with feet or stubby feet or whatever that is. Ooh, yeah. and that's it. What a curious little spot, but I like the fact that we're going back to 3D. I mean, Tell Your Tale is cool and good fun, wacky humor, but. Maker Mark just has this charm, every pony, that makes you want to come back. And what I think makes Generation 5 so special. Let's move on to the other stuff that we've seen. This is not the only thing of um, that, that is up and running. 
All right, ponies, and that brings us to Equestria Daily, where we learn about when this is released. This is what we just watched, the one-minute clip. All right. Let's see, the description, the evil op- Oh, we're gonna see Opaline in this. The evil Opaline is on a mission to steal the pony's cutie marks. Again? So this is like, um, Starlight Glimmer, um, Generation 4, Season 5, Episode 1. All over again. And become the most powerful Alicorn unless the main five can stop her in time. But it's nice to see that, you know, Opaline's gonna do more than just sitting around looking pretty and appearing every five episodes of Tell Your Tale. It's nice to see her actually get some time to, you know, do something. Okay. So the release date. Here it is. Here it is. It will be released on June 6th, every pony. Look at that calendar. No kidding. That is in... Goodness, that's about four weeks away. That is less than a month, people. This is coming a lot sooner than I anticipated. I don't know if this is going to be like one big one or if they're gonna split it up again, but we'll we'll see. But if it's something this big, I think it just smells like a like um you know like a big movie. But here's something that was leaked. We have a Spanish version that was uploaded with a wrong audio track, so there's some dialogue here that is is probably. You know, supposed to go along with something else. This was a dialogue in said clip. Hitch, I'll never let you go again. All right, here we go. All right, you got this. Help, help. Misty, what did you do now? They defeated me, Opaline. They tricked me and tied me up. Where is the rest? What? Siri the evil alicorn? Is that what you're calling me now? Tell me, evil fire alicorn. Opaline Arcana. What? Tell me, Evil Fire, Alicorn, Opaline, Arcana. Some pony from Main 5. Oh no, this is terrible. Twilight War in this. Oh! Every pony, this ties into Chapter 2, where we got the, the hologram with Twilight Sparkle. So that they are actually, you know, referring to that. Because back then, when that happened in Chapter 2, Episode 2, where we got the hologram of Twilight. We never heard about that ever again, like it made no appearance in any of the other season specials, but it's nice to see that we're actually working with them, all the development that has happened so far. That is important, every pony. You tried to steal magic many moons ago. So that was her. She was the one to steal magic to rule it. And now that I have the power of the dragon, I'll do it again right now. You failed. Sunny! Look at me, whoa, this is crazy. So does this just, like, sound different? <laughs> yeah, I do not know Spanish, but this is interesting. So there's gonna be some epic fighty scene, and Opaline's actually gonna show what she did to get where she was. Being the all-powerful alicorn. Ooh. But I still wonder if we're gonna see Twilight again, or at least another hologram. That would be pretty amazing. All right, let's see what else there are ponies. I, th I think I'm getting hyped just wanting to do this, but we still gotta wait almost four weeks, ponies. Okay, every pony over here, we have a... Um, I think this is a little bit of an announcement of Thunderbird's little pipeline. This one was made a while ago, but not all of this is released. Now look over here where it says My Little Pony. We have four times 44 minutes specials. That, that was, um... Let's think about this. I think number three, every pony, the winter special. That was 44 minutes. Then we had eight episodes from, um, chapter two. So this could be another one of those 44 minute episodes from what I can tell, ponies. But this also means that there might be future chapters that are going to be in, in the, the format that we've seen from Chapter 2 again, every pony. But yeah, ponies, this was done a while ago, and we, you know, haven't gotten much outside of the Christmas special, so all of this is still set to come towards our way, ponies, and we we got to be ready for it. This is this is just the 3D stuff, every pony. The um, Tell Your Tell, I think, is done by some pony else, as far as I can tell. Well, ponies, now that we know that the next special is going to be a big... 45 minute that it's gonna be June 6th and um, You know we exactly know what's happening now. 
we're going to take a look at some of the merch that's come along with it because I'm also interested to see how that's been going because that always sort of accompanies our ponies. What? Look at this. There is Equestria Girls in Generation 5. I do not know how to feel about that. What the? Look at this. I do not know how to feel about that. Look at those eyes. That is... That almost looks a little bit creepy, don't it? No offense, but this does look awfully creepy. Really? Equestria Girls was by far the most popular with the release of over 300 dolls during its run. What? So that's why they're releasing it, because of the sales. Are we, are we literally going to see... More Equestria Girls in Generation 5. Come on, there is so many other things we can do. Oh, and Hitch isn't getting any love. Poor Hitch. What's this? This is a play set, everybody. I think this is... Can I... Can I... There we go. Look at this, this is sort of like a little play set with all the little animals and little Hitch. Oh, it's kind of adorable. Let's see. Oh. oh holy, look at that. That actually looks so right. That actually looks pretty good. Look at that. Actually looks pretty nice. Seriously, look at the design on those wings. Are those transparent? I don't know, but if those are transparent, that would be freaking crazy. Oh, look at the little accessories, people. Look at that. Look at the little accessories. Especially also look at the the wings on um, Opaly. Those seem to have literal fire on her and also look at the cutie mark We we never actually gotten to see that Opaline's cutie mark. I Do not know what that stands for but that looks interesting. It looks like she has some sort of relationship with fire magic though, doesn't it? Let's see what else there are. I think there was one more entry that I found really interesting here Let's see here we have it What's this? No, where's it? I know I saw this earlier. I, I think it actually was this. I think this was just another figurine of um, of a pony, but I I actually think the toys don't look half bad compared to some of the stuff that we've gotten to see from Generation 4. This is, it feels like a step in the right direction, ponies. I don't know if I'll like physically get some of these. I might, you know, I might. I mean, Opaline looked pretty cool. This is, Opaline is, I'm gonna let Opaline look pretty good. All right, ponies, let's see what else there is, but I, I like where this is going. I like how it's materializing a little bit, every pony. It sounds villainous, but it is. So next, I want to take a look at the plushie game, every pony. Plushies have always been a big part of, you know, the merch that I have. I literally have, like, I think two dozens by now. And um, let's take a look at their plushie game, hey? What the, why is that over there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch this over here, watch. I'm gonna bring this over here. We are gonna look at them. Uh, I don't know what to think about that, ponies. Those don't look bad, but in, in Generation 4, we got spoiled with plushie designs. Those were some gorgeous plushies. Let me see about that. Can, can I, like, zoom in on you? Is it, like, a way to get a bigger picture? Yes, not really. Not really, ponies, but... Those don't look terrible, it's just, I don't know, the, the, the eyes look a little bit weird, the dimensions. I don't know, wait, is, is that literally a blush on zip? What? I do not know what to think about these, they don't seem bad, but when you compare that to what we had in Generation 4, uh, it's, it's no competition. Let me actually show you, ponies. What Generation 4 had was Nikki plushies. Let's dive into, um, Nikki plushies. MLP Generation 4. Let's see. No, not quite what I was looking for. Google work. Okay, let's see if I find the Fluttershy one. That was a very nice one. It's got to be. They had these ones, for example. These were super big. I think this one was like 40 centimeters tall. I do not know how much that is in burgers stacked on top of another, but, um, you know, I think this was. No, let's see, wait, can I, like, actually get a big picture of this one? 
Come on. I'll find it. I'll find it. There he is. There we go. See, this is, I think this was one of the first ones, and um, this was, I think, for 40 bucks, you would have this 40 centimeter plushie, which is a steal compared to what you would have to pay to someone custom make that, which was the high time. And, and nowadays, and then <laughs> followed that, we get these kinds of plushies, which were just, you know, this is, I, I'm glad we didn't have these, and this is, this is something we were able to get back in the day, but... The plushies that we have right now, they're not bad, but I don't think they come close to, like, the peak of pony plushies that we had. What's this? Yeah, the, they, they, they got the heads wrong, I think, every pony. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what's this? More, more games. All right, every pony, but there's one more stop that I have, every pony in terms of this new chapter and things that are going to be coming for us especially and that would be the comics because those have also made a lot of progress every pony we currently have let's see we have eight so far or wait no the, i think these were done in batches every pony i think we had eight here then we got like three more then even more i'm trying to get to the most recent ones yes you see here, every pony. This, these two, or no, this one is is going is actually. I think this one released. It is still something that releases before the special. So what happens in here could be very relevant here. Um, I'm not going to read through some of these because copyright reasons. But I I assume this is going to be some interesting plot lines for the new chapters. And here, every pony in June seventh. This one will be after the special, Everypony. This is after the special, this one here. And I think these are already going to be picking up on some of the ideas that happen after the special. And um, we're going to have some in July, August, and that goes all the way down to October 4th as the, the chapter we have to wait the longest for. All right, ponies, but there's one more thing I want to do just as a way to round out this episode, every pony. You remember I made the tier list well. Let me update it, every pony. And that would be here, every pony. Here's the tier list from that age old video when I tried to tier every single pony. You might want to watch it if you haven't, but this is how I've adjusted it, ponies. Opaline is basically becoming even more important. Just, I don't know, Sunny? Sunny feels like she's sort of almost becoming a background character, but I'm also inclined to give Izzy her own tier every pony. Izzy is just her her own pony, but then if I give Izzy her own tier, that automatically gives Zip her own tier, and I don't know how to do about that either, every pony. Um, let's see, I think, yeah, Misty. Misty moved up massively. I think I'm gonna move her up even more. Because she's, you know, she's doing things, especially Maker Mark, she you know, got to come out, out of her shell a little bit more, and I think that defines her ponies. That's gonna probably also define the special, is her overcoming her past. And, you know, I think I think the rest hasn't changed too much, every pony. Those are still where they are. This is still where it is. Um, yeah, this is, this is, this is not much change. But something tells me this is gonna change massively with the movie. Alright, ponies, but I suppose with that, I thank all you lovely ponies so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye, and remember, ponies, mark your calendars. We're gonna watch this the special here, ponies, like we always do. Also, every pony, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel, be notified whenever there's a new video, and there's new stuff here every single day. What? Including a pony does not know why there's two of these. <laughs> God damn it, New Leaf.